As tensions continue to rise, one Israeli-American business owner right near the city-county line was the target of vandalism over the weekend. The Israeli flag hanging outside his business was spray-painted. Fox 45's Jessica Babb spoke with that business owner who says there's no place for hate in the community. Jessica? The owner of Kitchen Design by Edan says he believes the person who spray painted his Israeli flag was trying to paint a swastika. But instead of allowing that, instead he's responding with a new flag that's already flying. Sitting on the corner of Falls Road in Baltimore at a busy intersection is Kitchen Design by Edan. Next to his American flag is this Israeli flag something that's meaningful for owner Idan Zamaret. This flag means it's who I am. You know, it's a, I'm, I'm a dual citizen, like I mentioned. Um, but, you know, this is, my home is here, but my heart is there. But this weekend, a piece of him was vandalized. So it looks like they tried to put the, the beginning of the swastika they did one side, but it was very rainy and windy on the Saturday night. So my guess is that they just gave up on finishing it up. These photos are from when he first found the flag, showing red paint smudged across the blue and white. Yeah, it's, uh, I expected it to happen eventually, uh, which still doesn't feel great when it does. It's also very symbolic because yesterday was the Holocaust Memorial Day in Israel, so uh, it's a pretty big day, and I, I come from a family of Holocaust survivors, so, survivors, so having the flag sprayed with swastika is uh, pretty personal. Other community members agree. I think it's awful. It doesn't matter what your political views are. There's really no point in vandalizing. It doesn't help anything. And while he says he's gotten one star reviews from people he's never done business with and has gotten nasty comments before, he says it's the first time his property has been damaged. Today is a flag. Tomorrow it can be somebody trying to, you know, to, to you know, damage the business or worse, trying try to hurt us. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunately. In 2024, I didn't think that I need to deal with that. But in a symbol of strength, he put up a new flag. I will replace it and replace it and replace it and not going to stop. I'll go to Amazon and buy as many flags as I want. He says the support he's received is greater than the damage, but is still making his message clear. You know, there's no room for hate, there's no room for anti-Semitism. With a months-long war and escalating tensions between the Israeli and Palestinian communities, he says vandalism isn't the answer. They are welcome to come and confront me personally. Um, I will have a conversation with anybody. But, you know, like I said, I'm not going to go and spray red or green or whatever color on Palestinian flag. Um, they don't have right to do that to my property and to my flag. Baltimore County Police say they are aware of the vandalism and say there will be an increased police presence in the area. We're here to stay and uh, I'm Israeli, American and, and Jewish and you know, can't take it away from me. It doesn't matter how much you try. So. And in a Facebook post, he mentioned that for every kitchen he sells, a portion of that he's going to be donating to a Jewish humanitarian organization. Live in Baltimore County, Jessica Babb, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.